Well, hello everyone. Sorry if I'm slightly out of breath today, but it's just I'm suffering a bit this morning. Um, yeah, I just wanted to start today's vlog off, and yeah, and my mental health nurse just phoned. Sorry about this. And uh, I, we just had a word with her. She told her how I explained how what happened last night when I was in the bath and what the service said. Well, the service said we have to go to Rainy or we have to get a paramedic out to you. And I said no. So. So I waited. So I waited till today. Yeah, waited till today. And the phone. We've just been on the phone with my mental health nurse. <coughs> Paul. And yeah, so. I yeah so yeah and as you can see I, I have to take deep breaths every now and again so sorry if I s seem to be struggling a bit but yeah so I was just on the phone with my mental health doc doctor or nurse or whatever you call them and I told her about what's happening and I said, could it be anything to do with my schizophrenic medication? And she says, well, we don't know because I had slight chest pain this morning when I woke up. Well, I have that and anyway, sometimes when I wake up in bed. But this time it felt a bit different. And yeah, so... But it's gone now, which just like a, how it was last night, throbbing. And, yeah, so uh, I told her that. And she says, well, what happens if it comes again? And I says, oh, I don't know. So, uh, sh so she says, well, it's best to either go to Rainy or out of hours. So I don't know whether whether I'll be... Well, I know for sure I won't be going to Rainy. But I might... But I know I might be going to the walking centre in Seoul. So yeah, um, so yeah, and then I'll probably take you with me and just tell you what's happening. Yeah, so uh, that's just what was happening this morning. Yeah, and. And, oh, yeah, and also she said that she's going to phone again this afternoon to see how we got on. And if it is to do with my medication, she said that... Uh, oh, God, see what I mean? And uh, she she said that she'll get in contact with the doctor to change it. Or, I don't know, she just said that she's going to get in contact with the doctor if it's anything... to do with my medication, my schizophrenic medication. Yeah. Might not be the Loisopan, but it might be the other one I'm on. Not the Quintapine. The other one I'm on. Yeah. So, yeah, we don't know yet. So, yeah. So, yeah. I just wanted to tell you about that. And start my vlog off. Yeah. So I will be taking you, it might be long, it might be short, but the past two I've done, it's not, they've been nearly about 20 minutes, which is good for me, even though I'm not doing much every day. So yeah, um, so yeah, I mean also my mum's doing my breakfast, so I mean, she, as you heard, she just called my dad. So yeah, uh, 
I just wanted to tell you about that and I will be taking you with me and updating you as a girl, as a girl throughout the day. Yeah, so yeah, just wanted to tell you that. Yeah, and bruise update day three, I think. That's the bruise update. Yeah, as you can see, it's like really black and blue. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I will see you in the next clip. Could be me still being at home, or it could be me in the car going there. Talking is really telling me really out of breath. <coughs> so yeah. I will see you in the next clip. Hello everyone. Um I'm back. And as you can see, we are heading out now. We are heading out now. And yeah, it's to the walk-in clinic to just double check if if all of this is, what's happening is okay and if it's just down to the tablets I'm on for my schizophrenia <sighs> yeah so I just wanted to inform you about that yeah so yeah and yeah so yeah and if anything does occur from me I will let you know I'll, I'll inform you and yeah, so, so yeah, and yeah, so just to the walking clinic, and and um, and yeah, just wanted to let you all know, and please subscribe down below because as I said before yeah i mean as i said yesterday i'm having a surprise giveaway at 1k so yeah so please subscribe and there will be a new vlog out every day uh probably probably between three and six yeah anytime between then or if it's late, it might be late because I've been out somewhere or something. Yeah, so uh, if it is late, I will do a live stream and just let you know. So yeah, um, so I just wanted to let you all know about this. So yeah, as you can see, yeah, we are out. Uh, so I will see you in the next clip. Could be at the walking centre. It could be, could be probably back in the car. So yeah. So I will see you in the next clip. Everyone and welcome. Please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel called the Adams Family. I want to hit one k. Um, sorry if I'm whispering, but um, I'm in the walking centre at the minute, and yeah, um, and I'm just waiting to be seen, and don't know what's going to happen from there, but yeah, just waiting to be seen, 
and yeah, and I'm not I'm in the in cellular hospital, but not in the hospital. I'm a bit, a bit like just at the walking centre. Yeah. So um, yeah, just wanted to inform you on that. And then, if anything occurs from it, I will update you. So yeah, I just wanted to update you about what's going on. So yeah, thank you. See you in the next clip. Hello guys, I'm back. As you can see, I'm in hospital. I'm in, I'm in the um, I am you. Sorry about the speaking, it's my breathing. And yeah, as you can see, as you can see, as you can see, it's beating fast. And, uh, yeah. As you can see, I've got a cannula. And I'm going to be have fluids and chest x-ray and stuff. And as you can hear, my mum's saying it. Yeah. So, yeah, I've got a fast heart rate that's don't know the cause. So I just wanted to inform you about that. And yeah, uh, I'll be having yes, fluids in a minute. And and, the uh, and a chest x-ray. Because then they're going to take yes, it from there it. and see, it Friday, so give it see if they can Friday. find out what's causing it. All right. I'll see what's and causing then, it. And then so I'll yeah, and then I'll, I'll just I'll keep you informed. Yeah, so I will keep you informed, and as you can see, I'm um, just between my heart and my heartbeat. Yeah, heart rate should be between 60 and 100. But it's not, as you can see, it's above 100. It goes below 100, but it doesn't stay there. It keeps going above. And that's why I'm so Lovely out of breath. And, as, and then, as you can Lovely see, my respiratory right behind there oh, yeah, is low. So, yeah, that's why yeah. I've got to have a chest x ray and fluids. And that's why yeah. I've got a cannula. And that's why I've got all these wires. Really nice. I just want to double check everything. And, uh, and double check if they can find a cause for my heart rate. If they can't and it stays high, they've got to give me something through here. So, yeah, I will keep you informed. And, yeah, uh, and hopefully the fluids will kick in. The fluids will kick in. And uh, put my heart rate stable. So yeah, I will see you in the next clip. Hopefully, yeah. telling you. Yeah. What? Telling you. Telling you what the doctor said. So, yeah. And hopefully, in the next clip, my heart rate stable. Yeah. So, yeah. I will. <coughs> As you can see, yeah, uh, I'm struggling a lot to breathe. And, uh, I'll see you in the next clip, and hopefully it's all stable and can go on. Because I don't want to be admitted. So yeah. See you in the next clip. Hello, I'm back. And as you can see, 
behind me. Way behind me. I've got these up my arm there. As you can see. And, and hope, hopefully that improves. I'm waiting for a chest X right now, and hopefully this this phone don't go before I go home. Hopefully I go home because I wanna. Yes, yeah, so and my feet pins and needles in them because of the alright and yeah so so yeah just waiting for everything to be done and the doctor came and said I'm doing well but that's with the heart rate but the heart rate now is the heart rate was doing well, it was going down to about 80, 89, but then it goes back up above 100 again. I feel like I've done a marathon with this breathing. So yeah, that's all I wanted to update you with. And hopefully my phone don't go before I go out, so, so I can update you even more. So yeah, that's all I wanted to update you with about me having them fluids up. So yeah, see you in the next clip. Hello guys, I just want to finish for yesterday's vlog and then I can start today's yeah. vlog. Well, yeah. no, yesterday's vlog. Well, what's happened is because the last clip was me in hospital yesterday and yeah and yeah so yeah i had to be in overnight well my phone was my phone ended up being flat yeah last night so my mum charged it up and bought it this morning so yeah, what happened was I had to be kept in overnight to be observed and stuff. And, and then and then apparently I've apparently they've checked it all like the ECGs. Like I had two ECGs, one at the walking centre and one in A and E. And then, and then, and then I, so the symptoms I had was basically slight chest pain, well, and then that like kept going out, like on and off, like, then my breathing was slightly like, I was struggled a little to breathe, like, I couldn't talk at all yesterday because as you as you heard in the last clip yeah and then yes yeah. yeah, so and then uh, my heart rate was going up as high as 130 then kept going back to normal then higher than normal so then when so then I was kept in I had a little sleep last night uh, but I did keep waking up with chest pain though. And then uh, and, and then this morning about seven o'clock um I went I went I went I went like really I went like really warm, then cold, then warm, then cold and clam and then warm and clammy and uh, and then the consultant came round about nine I think 
and and then and then he cause of the because of the heart rate noise they had to lower it so they gave me a beat blocker no i don't know but yeah then they gave they gave me the tablet so then yeah pardon me pardon me so so they gave me the tablet then they've discharged me with the tablet for two weeks and then i've got to go for a review at my doctors in two weeks but but i'm thinking i'll have to be on it for life uh, i'll be on it for life thinking anyway uh, because if the doctors don't give it me could all happen again and I could be in hospital again and then and then it's just gonna go occur again so then yeah just wait and see what my doctor says in two weeks so yeah yeah so uh, yeah so that's oh and they said the consultant said that I might have had like a slight viral infection that I didn't know about uh, because my heart, because my temperature was up a bit, was spiked a bit and then uh, up to about 37.7 and they gave me paracetamol and then it lowered it and then yeah and then the uh, main name for it is sinus arrhythmia that they said which means well when i read read it up on well when i read it up online it says irregular heartbeat it meant irregular heartbeat but he said to me it's due to a fast heart well slightly fast heart rate so it's not irregular but it's slightly fast and that and that's why i'm still slightly out of breath but at least as you can hear in my talking but uh, but at least i can talk today and then when i walked from the hospital to the car when i got to the car i was like that out of breath i had to catch my breath so I think it, the tablet needs to kick in a bit, a bit more to help it. But I'll have to take take it easy for for a week or so until I, until I go and see the doctor and see what he says in two weeks or she says in two weeks. It could be a he, could be a she. So yeah, so that was just information about what happened from the last clip yeah so yeah so just wanted to inform you about what happened and that's everything that's happened from the last clip till 10 o'clock this morning yeah well 12 o'clock basically because it's 12 o'clock now so yeah so yeah I will so yeah the question of the day for the day is have you ever been in hospital for anything and if so what have you been in for and have you ever been monitored overnight or been admitted where you had to have all tests done to find the reason so yeah um so that's the question of the day 
yeah and now and as you can see I had that so that was so the question of the day for me is what I've just told you about so yeah the Christian comment down below comment down below the question of the day no comment down below because I want to know the question of the day is have you ever been to hospital for anything and if so what for So yeah, I will see you tomorrow.